What imaging is used to monitor response? At the moment, the best we have is FDG PET, fluor dioxy glucose PET, which is developed for other cancers and other diseases, but it's the best that we have. It's more or less approved. We can use it for myeloma. It's at least in the US, you, you, you get paid for it. So we get it, we can offer it to our patients. There are new developments called diffusion weighted imaging, which is a little bit more sensitive. It's not approved yet. It has never been compared like head to head in a larger prospective trial. Retrospective analysis show that it has a higher sensitivity, about 10% higher than PET-CT. So at the moment, PET-CT is the standard of care for monitoring after treatment. diffusion weighted imaging might be something that is beneficial, and there are some colleagues working on that to, to look into the comparison of those.